In this video, I will show you how you can set up a Linux system to be a TFTP server. This can allow us to send configuration or software images from our routers, switches, and firewalls to our server to provide centralized configuration management. We also have the option to restore any configuration for a router or switch from our TFTP server. And here's how we can set this up. First, let's install the best TFTP package to use on our system. So we're going to say sudo app install dash y for yes and tftpd this is the name of the software package tftpd dash hpa great once that is installed we need to review or edit the tftp configuration file so that is located under etsy default tftpd dash hpa and in this file this will reflect the following First, this will show the username that a new user has been added with the installation of the software package called TFTP. So that's going to be the username and the group that will be used for creating new files directly on our system. So we can leave it at TFTP. Next for TFTP directory, this will show the actual root directory or the TFTP directory where files will be located at. And this is the default value, which is serve slash TFTP. So you can leave it at this, that's perfectly fine. Or you can create your own directory that should be the TFTP directory on your system. So let's actually do that. Let's actually um, exit out and uh, go under the root folder. And I want to create a new file or a new directory here that I'm going to call, let's say call it TFTP boot so now let's go back to that configuration file and we can specify that the tftp directory for us that we want is going to be slash the root tftp boot next is the address or the port number and this means any ip address that is listing on our system listing on port number 69 protocol udp port 69 and next for the tftp options we're going to make a change here to include another option here let's go down here where we say dash dash secure dash c and once we're done let's save those changes now we want to set the ownership of the tftp root folder to use the username and the group name of tftp this is very important so for that one we're going to run as a pseudo writes since we created the folder of tftp boot as a root user so we're going to change the ownership, do recursive for that folder and everything under it, where the owner will be TFTP and the group will be TFTP, followed by the actual path of slash TFTP boot. Now let's restart the TFTP service by doing service TFTP dash HPA restart. And I actually want to run that as the root. Let's do that one more time, which I can run with Route Hub as well. That's perfectly fine, but let's do it this way. And let's confirm the status of that service, which is active and running. So we want to make sure that's definitely working before we start testing things out. Next, let's go into the TFTP root folder where all files will be stored. So that'll be CD slash TFTP boot. And now let's do a test to ensure that our TFTP server is working. So we're going to connect to one of our Cisco Catalyst switches that we have part of our LAN. And we want to do a configuration backup. We want to copy the running configuration from our Cisco Catalyst switch to our TFTP server. So to do that, we're going to do copy run TFTP. And the remote host is going to be the IP of our Linux server. And that's going to be the actual name of that configuration file. And perfect. So that file has been copied. So if we go back to our server and do another file listing, we see a new file that is listed. And I can go ahead and view the contents of that file. And that is the configuration of that Cisco switch. So great. We have a working TFTP server in our environment. And that is how you can install, set up, and use a TFTP server for file transfer like network devices on a Linux-based system.